Quad City Girls Who Walk is a local chapter of a nationwide organization and it is growing in popularity right here every single week. Joining me are the co-founders Lauren Hart and Madison Wilderman. Uh, ladies, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks, yes, for, having thanks us. for having us. And you join and you get the coolest swag as well. <laughs> you guys have the cutest zip up and sweatshirt on today. It says QC Girls, girls Who Walk. Uh, so Lauren, first talk to me a little bit about the decision to start Girls Who Walk right here in the Quad Cities. When did you decide to do it and how did you kind of get the idea? Yeah, so we started, uh, Madison and I started Quad City Girls Who Walk about a year now, so uh, May of last year, and we really just, we kind of close to your segments that you've had, we knew how hard it was to make friends as an adult, and so we wanted to create a space to bring people together, make connections, but also mm -hmm. explore the Quad Cities, and uh, very similar groups are throughout the U.S. and the world, and so we were like, let's just start one up here in our own uh, hometown, and so we did it, and it's progressed into what it is now. Yeah, Madison, it seems like it's really taking off. I kind of looked at the progression. You guys have a really nice uh, Facebook page. You guys do really well on social media. And I have to say, it seems like every photo that you post the group grows exponentially. So you guys are doing amazing. Thank you so much for the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we it, it kind of took off. We started our first walk, only had six people, yeah. and it was friends that we had, of course, in the area. And then we started doing a little like campaigning throughout social media. And we took advantage of a lot of the Facebook groups that are close to the Quad Cities, like what's going on in the Quad Cities, yeah. posting our events, and people just started climbing on. And that's when we kind of realized a lot of people need something like this, and they want to choose that avenue. I absolutely think that they do. And, um, you know, I think COVID maybe had a lot to do with that. I think that we kind of realized, you know, we didn't love being stagnant. We didn't love not seeing people and got a little scared. Like, you know, it's a little bit hard, like you mentioned, to kind of meet new folks as an adult. So talk about the different people, Lauren, that you guys come across that are joining the group? Are you seeing a lot of people that are, you know, already here, Quad Cities natives, or people that are coming from out of town, or a mix? Kind of a mix. So okay. I, um, I'm i born and raised in the Quad Cities, and so I I think even for people who have been here, it's great to kind of be a tourist in your own area and yep. see new uh, areas and explore, but we do get a lot of people that are pretty much brand new to the area. Um, a lot of, like, travel nurses or do... Uh, People are just traveling to the area for their jobs, so they wow. just are looking for a new uh, place to hang out. But so it really is a mix, different age ranges, different. We have some kids come, we have yeah. dogs, really just anybody. I see. <laughs> People bring the dogs for the walk. That's great. So you guys put together a variety of activities, and we're going to get to all of them in just a minute. But first, we want to talk about the walks specifically. So how far are we walking, uh, Madison? How do you guys choose the location uh, for a walk, and kind of how do you spread the word and let people know where you'll be? Yeah, so we have a planning meeting probably right before the month starts to talk about where we want to do the walks. And we try to do both sides of the river. Um, we really want to capitalize on all the amazing trails that the Quad Cities have. Yeah. Um, and then we've also lately gone into mall walking since people still want to be active in the winter. <laughs> we did get two feet of snow or something like yeah, that right? recently. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a good idea. So, Madison, the mall walk is strong. The mall walk is going strong. We love the mall walk. Yeah. Um, we probably do about two miles in there. And as far as our outdoor walks, they can range... We've done a five mile walk, Very and we nice. also have some smaller walks that are only a mile so that anyone can really go to which one they want to. Absolutely, uh, so you're a social group uh, beyond that. Uh, Lauren, talk about some of the other things that you guys have started planning for the group. Yeah, so we do um, some happy hours, we do attend some yoga events, or we've just started a book club, but we really wanted to take advantage of events that are being held in the Quad Cities by other um, local businesses so we went to a shopping event this last week and we really just want to create a place where people can get together but explore things that are already happening in the quad city so you don't have to go alone absolutely you start with something as simple as just going for a walk and then you kind of get the group together and see who's interested in doing some of those other things like you said happy hour like maybe a galentine's shopping weekend or something like that it, it really is a good way to just start meeting new people and getting out there okay so let's talk about some of your upcoming events you actually have have uh, one event happening this Sunday, correct? Yes. That's at Crow Creek Park? Yes. Okay. This is a co-ed walk. Yes. Talk about that. So we wanted to gear towards, since it's Valentine's Day, we thought, ah. why don't we have a co-ed walk and maybe invite everybody? Because yeah. a lot of our marketing is kind of geared towards women. Absolutely. Because um, we wanted to make a safe space for women, but 
we also want to include that technically anyone can come. You're allowed to come no matter who you are. Oh, um, wow. So that Sunday walk, we wanted to definitely speak out and make sure that people knew everyone's invited. Awesome. So that's 10 a.m. this Sunday at Crow Creek Park in Bettendorf. Uh, you guys have a mall walk coming up on February 22nd. That's on the screen. That's in the evening. And as you mentioned, you alluded to a book club that you guys just started. Uh, that book club discussion, February 29th at Vibrant Credit Union. For people that may feel like they can read that book, what are you guys talking about on February 29th? Yeah, so we start out with some pretty uh, easy, just feeler questions. Who's your favorite character? Things like that. And then we work into more in-depth questions. Okay. And then uh, Madison and I tend to go overboard and we'll decorate like <laughs> it. We'll give you some bookmarks, things like that. So we really try to just make it really fun. Okay. Uh, exciting. So uh, for anyone who wants to show up, what book, or what book should they be reading? right now. Yes, we're reading Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I've heard that's a good one. Yes, it oh, is. Yes. It's on my list. It's on my Goodreads <laughs> list. All right, ladies, thank you so much. Uh, so all those events, we'll definitely put those on our website as well. Um, and if you want to follow Quad City Girls Who Walk, they have uh, lots of social media pages. Follow them on TikTok, of course, Facebook, and Instagram. Lauren and Madison, great job. Well done. And thank you so much thank for coming you. today. Thank you. Thank you for having us.